There's a saying that says, perfection is the enemy of execution. But we also understand that execution or action is very much required when we want to manifest anything in our lives. And I'm talking from a personal experience and I can totally relate to this, why? Because I am the biggest perfectionist also and I used to always not get things done because of it and not get things launched. And so I'd like to share with you a very powerful tool or strategy that I've adopted through the years to enable me to stay a perfectionist yet at the same time get stuff done and get results in life. So we're gonna dive deep into this today, but before we get into it, show reel, hit it. Namaste, this is Sri Akashna here. And in this video, I'm gonna break down for you a very simple way that I overcome um, procrastination when it comes to perfectionism. And I'm sure a lot of you who are perfectionists out there can relate to exactly what I'm saying because um, I've been this for many, many years where um, I could want to launch a project, want to launch a business, want to launch a venture, want to get something done. And because it's not quite right yet, then I never get it done. I never get it launched. It's even so much uh, borderline OCD in a sense where I can want to, um, want to do some work today, but the room is not quite tidy enough or the desk is not quite right or this leg is taller than the other leg, so I need to fix that first, or the plant is out of place, or I need something else. And, and then I give all these excuses because it's not perfect, I don't actually get it done. I never get down to the work. And so what I realized was, and this is what, if you're taking notes, I'd like you to start um, writing some of these things, or you can type it in the comments below just to reaffirm the learning on a deeper consciousness level, um, is that there is really no such thing as perfect. There is no such thing as perfect. So for a perfectionist, it's very important to understand that there's no such thing as perfect. I'd like to give you a very simple example of there's no such thing as perfect. If you look at, let's say, for example, when the first iPhone released, okay, the original, the first one, right? Everyone was really excited about it. It changed the whole game of how phones work and how they look and how they feel and how they how we use them and the capability and functionality of a phone, right? And it was like, wow, that's amazing. But let me ask you this question. Was it perfect? And in so many ways you would think yes, but at the same time, if it was perfect, how did they come up with iPhone 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I think we're on 13 now coming up right? How do they come up with all of these? Understand that evolution is inevitable, meaning that all the time we are evolving as human beings. So the second thing I'd like you to write down is that we are always evolving. We're always moving forward, meaning there will always be something that's more perfect than something the time before. Now, the interesting thing is time is a very, very good way to execute. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean, right? Being a perfectionist, I realized when I was first writing my first book, Think Big, Build Small, I realized that I would write forever and ever and ever and never really get my book launched because I would never feel like I finished writing my life story. But at the same time, also needing to understand that my life story can never be perfected until the end of my life. And so it has to stop at some point. Although I haven't wrote everything in it, I don't need to try and think I need to put everything into it because I can come to acceptance that there can be book number two, there can be book number three, there can be book number four. And so when I came to this realization, I realized that the most important thing is to set myself a deadline. So this is point number three. I'd like you to write this down. Set yourself a deadline. Time is very powerful. If you can say, okay, I am going to work to as much perfection as I can 
but I'm going to get it launched on the deadline that I've set myself. If you do that, you will be able to execute and you will stick to your perfectionism. How I manifest anything in life these days is using that exact theory. So what I do is I will always, doesn't matter what project, what venture I'm doing, I will set myself, that is the date that I'm going to get it done by. And I'm going to try my best. I'm going to work my hardest to perfect it as much as I can to that date. And that is exactly what all these big major brands, all the people who are manifesting huge miracles in this world are doing too. If you think about it, it doesn't matter if it's Apple iPhone, it doesn't matter if it's Tesla's cars, right? If you think about it in the lab, when they're putting the designs together, when they're putting all the technology together, do you think really at launch date, all the designers and all the scientists behind the scenes are looking at this car, all the mechanics and the engineers are looking at this car and thinking that is perfect. I don't think so. I believe every engineer and every mechanic in their mind at that time is thinking, ah, it would have been so much nicer if I could really get that other thing done in time and added that feature. They're always thinking this. But guess what? Energy is never wasted. Meaning you had that thought, that's great. You can launch it on 2.0. You can launch it in a second month. You can launch it six months later. You can launch it next year. You can keep adding your perfectionist to it. But time and setting a deadline is going to be the thing that allows you to execute. And when you first get into setting that deadline and working extremely, extremely hard to it, come to acceptance that it will for sure be the case that when you launch it, you're thinking, mm, I could have wrote 10 more paragraphs or I could have wrote about another thing too, or I could have spoke about something else. Come to acceptance that that will always be there. And also come to acceptance that now you have plenty of energy, plenty of knowledge, plenty of more perfectionism that you can add to the 2.0 version, to the upgraded version, to the next level version right? Or to the next month version even. And if you come to that acceptance, yet yeah, at the same time, setting the deadline, setting the time, and still keeping the perfectionism that you have, this is the best combination to get stuff done and get stuff done extremely, extremely well, because perfectionism is still a very good trait, better than people who do half ass job when they're doing things, right? So you have a good trait, but add the deadline to it and come to that acceptance, you'll be able to manifest a lot of miracles in life. Hopefully this has clarified some things for you and maybe give you some tools to work from. And I look forward to hearing all of your success stories and what you're able to manifest from using these strategies. If you enjoyed this video or got anything out of it, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also comment below and let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing up. Namaste. Ciao.